I'm going to be real as a woman and say this. Living as a man in today's world has to be extremely taxing, extremely stressful because there's so much that you all have to measure up to. You have to make sure that you're driving this type of car, living in this type of home, making this amount of money, having this type of job occupation or career. You have to make sure that you're this height, this weight, this everything. And it's all so that you can be seen, respected, valued as a human being. If you don't measure up, you're discarded of. And I know a lot of men could suffer from insecurity issues. You know, a lot of men struggle with confidence because of all of the standards that you have to meet. And I'm going to be real. A lot of the insecurity issues that come from men is due to women. Uh-oh. We are the ones that oftentimes shame you all and say, oh, you're too short. Oh, you're too ugly. Oh, you're too broke. Oh, you're too dusty. Like, yeah, it's oftentimes us women. And what's so crazy is the fact that it would be the same women that turned around and said that men were the cause of their insecurities, right? The men are the reasons why we're going and getting BBLs and we're wearing lace front wigs and we're wearing ridiculous makeup. Like the men, the men, the men. And actually, that's not true. A lot of the women are out here competing with other women and listening to other women as far as what a beauty standard is and what makes them valuable and what makes them qualify. The men actually tell us to be natural or as natural as we can possibly be. If you're going to wear makeup, fine, but don't overdo it. If you're going to wear extensions, fine, but make sure that it's not ridiculous and make sure that it's something that at least looks like it's naturally yours. Like the men are the ones telling us to go to the gym, eat right, not get botched BBLs and surgeries. You know, the men embrace us. They tell us to embrace ourselves, enhance ourselves naturally. And we'll say, oh, well, you men do this to us and y'all body shame us and y'all do that to us. And the reason why is because of y'all, 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 y'all do this. It's like, hold on. Not only is that not true, but one could argue that the women do that to men way worse. So many men struggle with insecurity issues. And it's due to, I'm going to be honest, what the women have said. You can be the most brilliant of a guy, the most nice of a guy, the most loving of a guy, even attractive. You can have all of your money, everything together. But if you're too short, they don't want you, which is why we're going to be getting into this guy here who spent $80,000 to get height surgery. But it's so much that men have to deal with in order to be seen, to be valued, to be heard. You know? And I get it, fellas. A lot of y'all could suffer from insecurity issues. Maybe you do feel like you're too short. Maybe you do feel like you don't make this amount of money. Hell, maybe you feel like your skin is not up to par. Right? And if you're that guy that feels like your skin is not up to par, I'm going to kindly and strongly encourage you to go and get that teach Hanley, baby. See, that you can do, fellas. If you're struggling and suffering with, you know, acne and blemishes and dark spots, I'm going to need you to go ahead and get that teach Hanley daily wash. 
okay? They have a face scrub. They got, you know, the serum. They have everything that you need. They got the PM for at night so you can wake up, refresh. Like, Teach Hanley is going to take care of you in that department when it comes to your skin. So you have to worry about that, fellas, right? Do not ever worry about having skin issues or being insecure in that arena because I'm going to tell y'all right now, Tej Hanley got you covered. But I'm going to be real enough to say that a lot of you all are having to deal with so much on your plate, so much going against you. And it is because of the unrealistic expectations that a lot of women and society at large, to be honest and to be fair, place upon you all. But this guy here, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he was body shamed. And yes, by women. I'm sure he was told that, oh, yeah, you're cute for a short guy. Yeah, you got a lot going on, but you just don't measure up. And so he took his $80,000 that could have been spent on a wife, on a family, on a home. If y'all would act right, ladies. See, y'all are missing out on great quality husbands. Because you're saying that he's too short. Please. You're saying that he's too dark. You're saying that he has bad skin. And that could be fixed. Again, hit that link below and get your teach handy. See, you can fix those things. A lot of y'all are missing out on perfectly good husbands because of superficial surface level things that really don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. You know what I mean? Things that could be easily resolved and fixed. A man can always make and earn more money. A man can always educate himself. A man can always get rid of his acne and all of that. Like, again, click that link below. Like, I'm trying to help y'all out. Get this discount. You ain't got to do all this. T. Chanley is right around the corner. Look, it's a click away. Get those pimples away, okay? But nonetheless, look at what this guy felt like he had to do. This is extreme. This is extreme. I'm trying to be nice about it. Because I do feel for this brother. I really do. I really do feel for this man right here because height is one of the number one things that a lot of men get passed over for. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys get rejected because women do feel like, oh, if you're not tall enough, then you're not masculine, which is so silly because as a married woman myself that is married to a, a man that is short, like it has nothing to do with his ability to protect you and provide for you and love you and take good care of you. Like my husband is phenomenal. So yeah, you won't find me out here in these streets missing out on my good man because you know i had a superficial height requirement that didn't even result or mean anything in the grand scheme oh no <laughs> but a lot of a lot of men unfortunately are presented with women that would hold that against them you know and so i'm going to try to be nice about this even though i strongly disagree with what this brother did Let's get into it, y'all. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. This guy who goes by Mr. Broken Bones spent $80,000 to get taller with height extension surgery starting at a height of five foot five. He had two surgeries where doctors broke his bones in six places and implanted devices called fixators to stretch his legs. While he recovered for six months, he lived in a rehab facility and had to turn a handle on his fixators every day. After that, he spent almost a year regaining the muscle he lost so he could walk normally again. This is him standing next to his friend before the surgery, and here he is after gaining seven inches, now at six feet tall. What do you think? Would this be worth it? No. It wouldn't be worth it for me. And like I said, I'm going to try to be nice 
but I'm going to be real too. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This brother spent $80,000 that again could have been towards investment, savings, you know, whatever, anything but this. And he felt it necessary to go and get height surgery because he felt like, in my opinion, that he was not accepted by women. He was not getting the attention that he may have wanted because he's an attractive guy, right? And I know so many women would probably look at him and say, oh, you know, He's cute and he has a nice body and got this going on, and got that going on, but he's too short. You know what I mean? Like who would do all of this? He he broke all his bones in his leg just so he can get taller. And that makes me feel sorry for him because what were you going through to where you would purposefully inflict pain upon yourself just to get accepted or get some play like that's sad to me but again this is what women will do and then turn around and say oh but men do this to us uh y'all body shame way more than the men do let's be clear y'all talk about the men's height their salaries their occupation their peen size all the way around y'all do the most when it comes to shaming men especially body shame But to me, this is this is ridiculous. You know, you should not, in my opinion, place women in such a high regard to where you would do this to yourself. And he could not convince me otherwise that he did not do this for the validation or approval of women. Because women are the ones who complain about height. Let's be clear. We're the ones who would hold that over a man's head. No pun intended. Like, oh, yeah, you know, he's making good money. He got this going on, that going on, but he's too short. And brothers, as your little big sister, no. No. Don't ever do this for the validation and approval of a woman. If it's something that you have control over, then, sh you know, go ahead and change it. Like I said, if you have skin issues, go and get Teej Henley. You know, get the, get the Teej Henley if you have, you know, dark spots and blemishes. Like, go ahead and get that. That's fixable. You know, if you feel like you don't make enough money, yeah, go out there and grind a little harder. Maybe get another job. But as far as how you're born, your height, like that's OD, that's too much. If a woman cannot value you and respect you for how you're born, do you really want to be with her? No. Now, I want to take this a step further and, and, and say this. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Ladies, y'all keep missing out. See, I, I got to drive this point home. Y'all are absolutely missing out. Now, earlier I said that, you know, that $80,000 could have gone towards, you know, an investment account, house, savings, you name it. Like, you could have definitely benefited from a man that was able to have $80,000 in passive income. This man wasted, in my opinion, he wasted $80,000 to break his own bones. That money could have been yours, ma'am. You could have been collaborating effectively as a unit and as a team with this brother. But because so many of y'all would rather miss out on a quality man for superficial surface level reasons, you know, like he goes out and he's able to blow all his money on nonsense in my opinion. Right? Like I really need that to sink in and soak in for these women out there. Y'all are passing up perfectly good men 
with resources that are productive, attractive, the whole nine, because he's short. And like I said earlier, I do feel bad for men because it is a lot of pressure placed upon y'all. But my, my only hope for you all as your little big sister that loves you and respects you is for you to have enough confidence within yourself to where you would never go to these type of extremes to purposely harm yourself for the valid, for the approval or, or validation of a woman is just, it's ridiculous. You know, like this is harmful. Teach Hanley, that's not going to harm you. That's going to help you. All right. This not going to harm. This going to help you. But to break your bones? No. No. And ladies, I hope this is an eye opener for you. I hope this chin checks you all into really waking up to say, hold on. Am I really missing out and passing up a perfectly good man because of a superficial, stupid reason like his height? Am I missing out on my husband because I have a ridiculous standard? Am I missing out on having a stable, healthy, thriving relationship? from a providing, protecting, leading, teaching, amazing man because of something that is surface level, like height. Hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, a lot of y'all women are out here broke and struggling. Yet you got a whole man in your face that's able to have $80,000 in passive income in a savings account just to blow on damn height surgery again that could have been your husband that could have went towards your house your family like y'all are y'all are ugh. it's really sad so i feel for both the men out here that are feeling so inadequate due to society's pressures due to women's unrealistic standards and feeling like they're not good enough. And no, I don't even feel sorry for y'all. I was going to say I feel sorry for y'all as well because y'all are missing out on your husbands. But that's on you. Like, you're doing it to yourselves. I have no words. But I will ask y'all this. Would y'all do this, fellas? Would y'all really go out of your way to break your bones, to get taller? Like, would you do this? I, I would really want to know. Because to me, this is this is ridiculous. But I do understand, you know, because society does put a lot of pressure on you. Um, I don't agree with it with it though, you know, at all. I do not agree with this. Um, you shouldn't even want to be with a woman that would pass you out or pass you up and miss out on being with you because of your height. Like that's stupid. And I can comfortably speak from personal experience. My husband is 5'6". I'm 5'7". He's a great man. Takes good care of home. Gets, takes good care of me. Like, I, I would never say, oh, you're too short. So, yeah, get out of here. Like, that's stupid. A woman that really values you and loves you and respects you, she's not going to pass you up. So to do this, to me, is ridiculous. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you feel like, no, I wanna, I would do that. You know, I want to be tall. I want to have that confidence boost. Maybe you would. I'll put a poll. I should have already put the poll in the uh, dope discussion. So y'all answer that for me. And if you missed the live stream that we did together, put it down in the comment section below. Like, would you go and get height surgery so that you can get validation and approval and attention from women? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Would it be for a personal reason? Like for your own confidence boost? I don't know. I would hope not. I think this is a, a, a lot. This is a bit much for me. You know, this is extreme. But 
yeah, I thought I would come through and share this with you all and get your feedback on it. Um, I think it's sad. If you can't control it, if you're born that way, leave it alone. Okay. Leave it alone. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Uh, and also you all remember, click that link down below, go and get your discount on your Teach Hanley products. All right. Because acne and blemishes and you know, rough skin, that is something that you can change and it's not going to hurt you. You do not have to break your bones to go and get that teach, Henley. Okay. You, you ain't got to do that. All right. But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown head.